Hey everybody, how you doing? NASCAR Camping World Gander Truck Series at Daytona International Speedway. I'll be in the studio David Versa Thunder Ford F-150 number 11 truck today. I'm starting third in a field of 26. Race length is 50 laps, which equals 125 miles. Green flag. All right, no reason to dick around. Uh, this didn't end well. Hell, it didn't even start well. We're just gonna jump right to it. It's not gonna take too long, only about three laps. So, you know, my plan in the past has been to hang out in the back, but number 11 seed truck, I thought, you know, if I didn't qualify, I'd be right smack dab in the middle of the pack, and I didn't want to do that. So I qualified. Hey, pulled out a, a third place starting position, not too bad. So we get rolling. There is some chatter, you know, at the beginning of the race before we were come down to take the green flag you know a lot of uh kind of child room stuff you know it's like you can win in the first lap uh, you know okay so anyway so the truck's a little squirrely and i know that this is the vrs setup from the first of the year they didn't change anything i'm a little squirrely until i lose, lose a little bit of fuel load weight and you know i'm not really kind of used to running up front here so early because i usually you know start in the back but anyway so it is what it is. So here I am just trying to maintain. Got the number 26 truck, Robbie, behind me. And he uh, gives me a shout out in about a lap or two here. Keep it straight, Dave, keep it straight. And he's like, Robbie, I'm trying, I'm trying. So we're all pretty much playing nice up here in the first four or five spots. But keep your eye on the 15 truck. And so, you know, there's just, there's nothing I can do here, you know, I'm just kind of trapped, and, but I'm not getting touched, I'm not touching anybody, there's no bump drafting, that's really good. And uh, like I said, the, uh, the truck's a little squirrely. Now here's the thing that I've known about this truck, and I've seen before, and I duplicated in practice, and that is if you square up the corners just a little bit, the truck is a lot more stable. You can do that too wide, and, and unfortunately, everybody has to do it. Uh, if you try to hug that line all the way around turns one and two, and then also three and four, the truck gets a little squirrely. See the number uh, 21 truck that's leading right there? He kind of uh, squared it up, and the one followed him just a little bit. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm just saying if you can square the corners up a little bit, the truck is just so, so much more stable in the corners. But, again, everybody has to do that in order for it to work. Otherwise, you're going to be door slamming everybody. So uh, they're kind of criticizing the nine for wiggling, but look at all these trucks are dancing. All the trucks are dancing, you know, except the guy out front that's got all the good uh, wind on his front air dam there. The old burst of thunder looks pretty nice today, doesn't it? Nice sunny day. So we're just gonna watch this and let it unfold. I think I do a pretty good job uh, just kind of hanging there, but when you come into the flat, that's where the, ooh, and you see, here comes the 15, this is it, this is it. Right up the middle, got a good run and says, fuck it, I'm going for it. Kind of brushes the nine. I kind of brush him right there, we're dancing, and then he gets into the nine again, the nine comes down to 15, the 15 gets me. You know, I'm sure the uh, 15 thinks that was all me, not being able to hold the line, but these trucks fucking dance. You know, if he hadn't have been bull in the china shop, no problem. And everybody on the chat seemed to agree with me. It was all the 15. That was all 15. He took it three wide for no reason. All right, so I'm dead. I mean, the engine's toast. I have to get a tow, which means the 15 and everybody else involved in the accident that was able to get away with under their own power across the start-finish line first. So I was in 24th, pretty much dead last. Two trucks didn't make the show. All right, so... <clears throat> 
had 31 minutes worth of repair. That's damn near the length of the race. And, you know, a whole bunch of us got took out there, so I decided to stick it out. The 15 punched out, a couple other trucks punched out. Uh, there was another caution a few laps later, uh, five or ten laps later, and I was watching the timer, watching the race, and I thought to myself, God, if I could just get one more caution, I can go out and make a few laps and gain about five spots. You know, I say, never give up, never give up. I got my repairs done, I went out there. There was uh, just about 10 laps or so to go. I needed to run about five or six laps in order to get my positions. God dang it, guys. 24, come on, dude. What'd I do? Direct one. Wow! Stupid neck code, bud. Neck code? I hope the hell was neck code. If not, I'm going to protest the shit out of that. That was not neck code. I got fun. I got turned. Yeah, that was not that close. That was somebody trying to put it somewhere where it didn't fit and go three wide and read the scenario completely wrong and F everything up. And I and I talked to that driver and he is very, very sorry for the dumbass movie. Oh, it's so bull crap. I see on the top had a huge one coming. Oh, next card. Check a flag, my man. Man, that's a good race to the Phoenix, All right, boys. Let's go. Man, I tried sticking you And as you can see here, I ended up I finishing 18th. A uh, little bit of drama, as you heard there up front for the last lap. Let's go take a look at that. Congratulations for the number 21 truck, Sammy. He was the pole sitter and uh, just kind of held back and avoided all the carnage and came away with the win there, as we saw coming out of uh, turn three and four. Uh, Robbie in the 26 truck, he was involved in the first one coming out of turn two on the back stretch, but he kept her going and finished third after the skirmish in three and four. All right. Well, Daytona, 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 you know, plate racing, that's just the way it is. I may try this one more time and if possible, I will start in the back. Might even start on fucking pit road. I don't know. I hate that fucking maneuver, but you know it. It, it is what it is, and this is this is what we expect every time we're here. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.